Yeah, but I'm doing monsoon on my on my main. <laughs> Although one of those four times was on Rex, which is like not quite main yet. It's like learning Rex is hard for me because like I always um I always go straight from loader into Rex, so it's like I have bad habits. Of like being kind of like way too risky. <laughs> I need to work on other characters' unlocks, honestly, but I can do that later. I'm not super worried about it right now. Anyway, yeah, previously I had forgotten to save state after beating New Jersey. I'm tempted to go back to New Jersey without power-ups, because I kind of still want to conquer the stage, but I'm not actually going to. Um, so I have, like, two options. I have House of the Holy, Normal, and Secret. I never beat the secret exit legit on, um, or actually I never beat the secret exit path, um, my last playthrough a few years ago. Um, but I had also never beat Cryophobia, so my skills have actually grown. Also, I have a headache, but I did take some ibuprofen. I ate, I had my usual good stream breakfast, and I have coffee. So that's good. Loader is really, really, really good if you don't mind the melee, but you get used to it. You learn to love the shoulder tackle. You learn to live and love the shoulder tackle very much. It's so good. Um, I like Huntress, and basically I don't play anyone else. I tried Acrid for a little bit, but Acrid has this thing where if an enemy, like, you can start a run... And if there's a stone golem, like, floating around, you basically die before you get to push a button. It's kind of dumb. Multi-Artificer Engi, Captain, that you have but never tried. Captain's fun. Captain's actually a lot of fun. I should probably do some more Captain stuff. Um, but yeah, I basically play Loader, Huntress, and Rex. I should play others. Engineer super strong. Yeah, I, I want to get engineer unlocks. I always forget he exists for some awkward reason. He's really good. Engineer is a character I really like because, like, I like the idea of you have these turrets and they literally have your builds. Makes it super interesting to play around. Like, it's just such an interesting play style. I like it. I like it a lot. About giving engineers bustling fungus, yeah. Wait, white rages? That's fun, though. Like, yeah, you use the stationary turrets, and that's the downside, because I like the turrets moving around, too. But, like, yeah. Otherwise, bustling fungus sucks. Oh, that, yeah. Well, here's a better question. Why are the engineers using, um... Using the non-mobile turrets, then. Checkmate. Anyway, one of my tweets did numbers yesterday after I plugged it 72 times, so, like, that's pretty cool. I'm trying to figure out what to attach to it. It's like, I don't feel like it did the kind of numbers where I want to put my Patreon or my stream or anything. I think it's good for scrappers. Yeah. Like, it's a good item if you're in the void and for engineers with the non-mobile turrets and that's it. Otherwise, if you stand still, you're dead. So. Well, the meme turret is sort of worse because bad range, but they're more fun, yeah. Anyway, yeah, um, I kind of want to, I think one exit loops back around itself and the other goes forward. I'm not sure. But yeah, one goes down, so. Rare few items in Resident you're not at least okay with Yeah, basically, yeah. Rose Buckler has saved me a couple of times. Um, it's good for Huntress because she can attack while sprinting. And it's okay on loader because, like, anything that reduces damage on loader is good. Like, loader isn't exactly squishy, but I like the reduce. I like reducing damage where I can. Um, I used to really like leeching seed till I found out just how ineffective it was. 
Okay, anyway, yeah, um, I'm gonna go, I, I might get one exit or something, I don't know. Um, wow, I did it. I, I got an exit. Okay, cool. Well, that's been Jump for today. I got one exit in a video game. This is Get the Normal Exit by Yogui. No power-ups, no Yoshi. Okay, for real. Um, if you want to get the normal exit, you need to keep that key. Try not to put it into a keyhole. Okay, I think you can kind of get the basic idea though with this level. Would have been much faster to start select, but eh. This is a level where you dodge the keyhole while keeping a key, and I'll show you why in a moment, if I can get there. So yeah, you need to keep the key to get into these doors. Yeah. There are no midpoints in this level for what should be obvious reasons. You can't hit- cause like when you get an exit- cause like the main obstacle is avoiding secret exits. So like, you get this exit, then the level is complete and the midpoint would be lost. So yeah. I think it's best to just throw it from there. Oh, I almost died by like letting go of run too early. Well, I think I'm like literally dead here. Yeah, okay. Because I like let go of it in a really dumb way. So yeah, that's this level. This gimmick has been used a few times like in the VIPs I want to say. I think I can just skip over that if I'm right. I want to science it, but eh. I'm excited about Razor Rod until you realize it uh, wrecks his HP skills, yeah. Oh yeah, and there's a fun little, um, gotcha at the end of it, too. This level's kind of extremely unforgiving, but there's a reason it's in World 6. It would just be much, much faster. Wish for screen to add more items. To yeah, kind of. For a roguelite, you kind of do run out of items really fast. That said, it's less about finding the items and more about getting the builds and just surviving. Like, unlike other roguelites, it actually tends to be more about like the run itself rather than, you know, lol, what build did you get? Yeah, that too. Stacking would be kind of a pain. Uh, hello, who is hosting me? Sodium, thank you for the host. I appreciate it. There we go. Is that enough? Yeah, okay, cool.
jump is going alright so far. I think that's too far, however. I want to say there's like some kind of cheese. There's not, but I think... Damn it. There are mods that add risk arenas, but they're horribly unbalanced, yeah. Like, the game just came out of, uh, early access, if I recall. Yeah, I beat, um, New Jersey on Wednesday. Granted, I had power-up tools, like, to keep capes at the start of the level, but, like, other than that, I did not tool otherwise. I am tempted to go back to it, though. I am tempted to go back to New Jersey and do it without the capes. Just because I know I can. Now, is my optimism gonna be misplaced? Possibly, because it was with the Nintendo thing, the the not virtual console. Surviving stuff from one there, no guarantees if the character won't work in three, yeah. Well, I got the key back. I wonder if I could just like, how fast I could jump off of that platform, that gray falling platform. What I what little I played of one felt really awkward. Speaking of awkward, oh, that didn't count for some reason. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna put it right down. Better off. <laughs> Not going back to who? I don't I don't get the reference. I'm assuming it's a reference. Horribly difficult even compared to two. Yeah, like and it even has like a very easy start thing. dumb, by the way, because I was, like, trying to jump. Having less dimensions to work with as far as dodging goes. I suppose. But, like, even then, the enemies just, like, they don't do more damage or anything. But, yeah, I don't feel like I can really do much. That and having to clear out enemies to open the teleporter. Okay, no, that one is definitely doable. I think I just have to let go of the key a lot earlier. Don't turn around. And also drop the key and also make the jump. I know better than to do that. Risk Arena one was kind of rough in a lot of ways. Found still 100% of it though. <laughs> oh god. Wow. Aren't you a champion? Also, I don't know who Edna Mode is. I still don't get that reference. On everyone. Yeah, oh. I don't think I'm ever gonna 100% that game by playing it for fun.
Like I was about to say, I can salvage this. If I could just like normal drop the key there, I'd be set. Like, I missed the trend of Risk of Rain one when it was, like, out. Here we go. Okay, I can just straight drop it then. There's no time limit, technically. Okay, I can drop it there, but I can't drop it. Not good enough. Oh, I am a god! And then I just mess it up. I get the one frame grab and then miss a, like one block out. <laughs> exactly, this is more or less the sequence of events. I am a genius! Oh no! I'm not going to be able to do the first room again. Did not count, I actually disagree. I was a full tile above this keyhole. Risk Rain 2 is really good, I like it a lot. Best game of 2020 so far. I don't know that I have one, really. Oh, 
Like I said, now I'm just not gonna be able to beat this. Which sucks, because that third thing that I keep like getting to and dying on, well not dying on, failing on. Um It's the last hard part of the level, I think. The rest of it's fairly free if I remember right. Or the fourth one rather, because this is the second one and the next one is the super run. Sigh. I'm just gonna try and do that so I can like get more consistent. Oh, I can do that too. We're going in a third dimension to where the keyhole just wasn't there. Cool, we're getting the eaten inputs time. I'm trying to figure out a way to do this fast so I can like just get back to actually playing the damn level. Here we go. I think I have it now. I think I have the first bit. Well, we're gonna see, aren't we? I'm doing the tiniest jumps I possibly can, and I still am hitting that keyhole every single time. Fine, you know what? Fine. There. I did it. I did what you wanted, stupid level. And then I forget how to do the rest of it because I'm so busy just... This level is frustrating. I like this level, but it is goddamn frustrating. It's a really neat idea, it's just kind of frustrating to actually execute. On paper, this is one of the coolest levels in the hack. Because, like, you're dodging what you would normally, like, seek out. It's like dodging power-ups. Unfortunately, like dodging power-ups, the thing you're meant to do that the game wants you to do is incredibly easy to get, so dodging it is actually difficult. And now I forget how to do this freaking second part. Oh my god. At least I've got this down to a science. The third- and the third segment is actually just really easy. There we go. I can salvage this. was one of those the game actually didn't do what I told it to do. It actually just straight up ate the input. There we go. This one you just get a running start. No, you know what? No. That was just... Mm. 
That one was tilt. I shouldn't load a state because I'm tilted. How did I do that before? I kept comped it the exact same way. Like, I don't get some of these jumps sometimes working and sometimes not. Like... Just stick with the consistent just because it worked once. I'm just gonna hope that this is enough. Okay. I like how, like, it knows when I'm trying to not kick it. It knows when I'm trying to not kick it, and so it kicks it. And it knows when I'm trying to kick it, and it... That's a fucking first. <sighs> yeah, this level's frustrating. <laughs> Kicking the key was had any degree of consistency at all. And, you know, if the game decided not to just decide I didn't hit a button. How sad is it that the MM level's starting to look like more of a fun time right now? I actually like this level too, that's not even the problem. I wish there was any consistency. back to it later. I don't want to. My alternative is an even more difficult level. An also cool level, but also equally really difficult. Like, I could come back to it later, but like, my options are basically that one star road level and an MM ghost house. It's fine, this is okay. Okay, I'll go all the way up to respawn my game. My key just won't respawn. Okay, fantastic. Oh cool, I can make it respawn.
Now, if you hold Y at all while going through this door, you lose. Here's why. Okay. Yes, that is a very mean check. If you're holding Y, then you literally just grab a key and instantly hit the keyhole and fail. That's- that part is dumb. But I knew it was there, so it's okay. Here's our prize. Just take it in. There's our prize. That is what we unlock for getting the normal exit. Now, I like that level. I don't know why I had such difficulty with it. I guess it's just the inconsistency of key throwing, but yeah. This is not Yum uh, 38, yeah. Yum 38 is bad for like literally every possible reason. It's name and it's gimmick. But yeah, cute. Here's our prize. That is our prize. I'm going to save now. Zwee. Zwee. Thank you. This is Balls by Yogui. No Yoshi, otherwise unremarkable level. Uh, Condition-wise. It's an auto-scroller in World 6 that might cause confusion, but uh, there you go. That's the gimmick. I don't know how you're meant to get that moon. That's fine, I'll take that for the dragon coin at this point. And then there's a ball of coins, because why not? Good. Lemmy's domain, yeah. <laughs> How's everyone doing today, by the way? I know it was like, Omega Tilted for that last level. It was just one of those, that level shouldn't have given me the amount of trouble that it did. I should probably get a second cape, honestly. Suggest things at times. I don't know, this, I kinda actually like this level. Like, yeah, the name is kinda XD, but like, Okay, getting a second game is kind of pointless because I'm just going to hit that mushroom every time. I honestly don't know how you're meant to get that moon. I see. Okay, there's a midpoint. Yeah, I knew there was some reason not to rush the door. Sticking off in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just stood there and took that. Oh, you can duck there. Okay, I didn't realize that. That's on me. Got it.
Fun fact, this level doesn't use any custom palette. It's all thanks to level mode 11, funky times. Oh cool, I almost missed it. Hellblades, what is up, Hilo? Chocolate coins. Yeah, I actually I kind of want some chocolate. I haven't had that much at all since I started my diet. So that was a two shot. That's not bad. Uh, that level normally gives me a little bit more trouble than that. But yeah, like I said, normal path at this point. Normal path of this uh, world six actually kind of tame by comparison to like New Jersey and other stuff. Also, yeah, the trees are dead. F. Why do I grab double capes? Because I'm gonna try House of the Holy. This is going to be a short episode of Jump. As a matter of fact, I'm putting this out there right now. I know I've said this before. Jump parts are going to start getting a lot shorter. Because I think you could tell by my tilt on normal exit that that's just gonna be a thing. Also because at this point, World 6 progression for like the rest of the normal game is more or less linear. So I'm running, like, I don't have as much in the way of options I can bail back to. Um, so, like, I just gotta take what I can get. So, how's the holy MM Ghost House? There's a movie about this place, which I showed off already, I think, actually. Never mind. It's not fall off the thing, thanks. Dragon coin there is what matters. I jumped, but sure. Eerie blaster, yep. The fire flower itself is pointless, it's just for an extra hit. I'm not gonna spend super long on this. the second one didn't fire this whole time until I got close to it. That's just brilliant. so horribly off time there's nothing I can do hate Medusa heads so does like anybody who's ever played Castlevania ever this first jump's pretty all right this is pretty harmless as far as I can tell Intelligent. And I'm double intelligent. Right, I have my midair spin bounce. Right, how did I forget about that? I 
I would really like to land there without having to cycle it. It's just, I hate the start of level where, lol, you can't do anything, lol, wait, beginning of level. I, I still despise that as level design. As, like, in a difficult level, it's like, I want to get back to the hard part, and waiting at the start of the level feels very counterintuitive to that. Yes, I tried to choose it. No, it didn't work. Gotta love when the thing that's like on a global timer didn't behave like it was on a global timer. That was just me not paying attention. That's fine. I literally made the same mistake again. That's fine though. Right, the task waited here forever too. Having a hit here would be really nice. That was it, that was it too. This isn't it. This isn't it. It's the next one. That would have been it if I had waited. So they're misbehaving. So fun fact about those angel blocks, their positioning when they're like moving up and down like that is kind of wonky, in case you hadn't noticed. Because I couldn't corner jump around it, I bunked on like below where it was. That is a property I'm very well aware of with that block. Pixel clip the edge of the thing, so I could have gotten a wall jump, lamau, but it cancelled my spin. That is just gonna happen sometimes because of how that is. I knew that was gonna happen eventually too.
If they're misbehaving like that, I may as well reset. Honestly. I would like to not be holding that block, please. Thank you, video game. Kick the block. Not regrab it every second, please. K thanks, video game. Christ. I made it. Okay, cool. Giving myself practice mode. Because getting here is annoying. I'll tank the death if I die once. Well, I can't get the secret exit now. Just as well. They spawn vertically, yeah. Sometimes the global timer just isn't. Like this, for example. Like, that cannon should have already fired. And now my timing is just not gonna happen for the whole level. Yeah. Oh, they're not? I thought they were. Then I don't know why that one is inconsistent. Am I going too fast? to do there like a lot of the time you just you just get hit if the game if the game decides you're getting hit you're just getting hit and there's nothing you can do about it So there's the thing- oh wait, no, this is probably fine. I mean, I'm dead, but this is probably fine. Normal X is just gonna lead to um, New Jersey, but it gives me a start select. And also, this part's really hard, but I have a midpoint now. lost so the, the trick to now the gimmick of this is you need to keep both blocks alive um 
That's just a thing. You now have to keep both blocks alive. I heard there's a secret here somewhere, but you came too far. Cancels midpoint by pausing and pressing L and R together. Yeah, you can cancel this midpoint. I am not getting the secret. Got a single aerodactyl, nice. But can you get the legendary double aerodactyl? I should learn to start canceling my things. I'm gonna lose a lot more lives because of this thing. Actually, it might be an easier start without the cape. Time shall tell. So this is the same fundamental problem with the actual start of the level in that you technically still have to wait. Don't make me wait at the start of a level for a cycle for anything. Mama Sassy, what is up? Hi, hello. I have been alright. How have you been? How are you doing? Oh, Barrow Dactyl. Oh my god. Somehow I didn't lose that. Why don't you really play this game? Uh, jump or just Mario in general? Dactyl, oh my god. Uh, Super Mario Bros. Uh, this is technically a ROM hack of uh, Super Mario Worlds, but uh, yeah. Aerodactyl. I was gonna say may as well go for the dragon point, that didn't pan out at all. Oh, that's it though. Okay. The segment's actually not that bad. And then the one made of bones, the Merodactyl. It wouldn't have mattered because, like, I need that block up there to not get hit by anything. Oh, 
Safe state here so bad because the beginning of the level is trash. Sparodactyl, I like that one a lot. Tactile, oh my god. There we go. Wow, okay. I shouldn't have gotten through that door. I just hate waiting an extra cycle. It's either get a cape or have an extra cycle, or, you know, or... Well, I'm waiting a cycle because I didn't get that feather, like, right away. I just- I hate levels that start that slow, like, don't make me wait at the start of a level, that's all I care about. Your level can be as hard as you would like it to be. Coming up next time, I literally can't aim a block through a one tile- well, not even one tile, I can't aim a block up through these moving things anymore. Practice mode, don't care. I'm learning how to do this. There we go. No, I'm not doing it on purpose. Aiming through those is actually kind of tough for some reason. Didn't know that would hit that. I have died, uh, died trying to get the feather like a million times. Like that, for example. Because I don't want to wait. Okay. I should have gotten hit, honestly, or should have hit the block rather. That's what's important there is I got the dragon coin. Hmm. 
That was the important part. Alright, in the upper block while ducking. I think you get pushed through the ceiling. Are you sure? I absolutely disagree. You know what? No. That's close enough to the door. In fact, I'm like pretty sure it's not. Dang. Getting better. Yeah, I was pretty far outside of it. I was just dreaming. Yeah, I was standing on nothing, so like... If you don't get it on the first thing, you're just not getting it. I'll wait. Good, good job, video game. You did it. You made me wait a cycle. Is it a long cycle? Am I being whiny? No and yes, respectively. I wish doors didn't have that pixel check. It makes, like, getting indoors sometimes, like, the most finicky thing make every door in every Mario hack a boss door. practice mode so hard just to get like consistent on that thing because the first time I stopped that shell was like pure dumb luck and I know I'm going to get there and fail it like seven times or something
One up checkpoint. I heard the one up. I heard the one up, so. Yeah. I heard the one up, though. Okay! That's good that you only have to do that once. Getting that last dragon point is definitely a thing, though. For me, it's right now, it's just getting that dragon point. So you need the cape. The problem is I have to get the cape there, which means it probably only involves waiting. Okay, I'm, I hate to do this. I'm doing a uh, double cape out of level state because I need the capes to get- until I get the dragon coin, I'm doing that. Like, ugh. Got it. Okay, cool. Now I don't care. That's all the dragon coins in that level. That's what matters. I thought I disabled that thing, but I guess I didn't. Like, I could have swore I just removed that extension, but I guess it's still functional or something. Channel points kind of took over what that would have been. Um, but the boss is right here. I am not... There is no farther into the house. One screen right... From, from where? The boss? Or from here? From the entrance to the house? I'm not resetting the midpoint. Absolutely not. Oh, the item house. That still involves going back to the item house every time. I 
I don't know that that's faster than just doing the thing. Besides, the second cape is technically pointless. Like a backup cape, like I'm not getting hit by damage or if I am, I'm just dead. I appreciate it, but um... I love that this is just awful. Like, my options are go out of thing for a cape, or wait like three cycles for a cape. <laughs> like, I just, I, none of my options are really good. Yeah, I'm not doing this right now. <laughs> I think I reached my limit for jump for like right now. Well, also get the normal exit was kind of really bad too for me this time around for some weird, weird reason. Yes, I'm life farming here instead of going back a bunch of worlds, what happened? Uh, you know, I could go through Star World, uh, and get to the richest that way, actually. I just kind of like this one. Like, it's not as efficient, but it's fun. Kind of. Yeah, it's silly. It's- it's fun, but yeah. I would joke that it's the funnest thing that MM's put in this act, except um, I still like Rapture in the Deep. Like, I still unironically think that's a very good level. Rapture in the Deep is actually probably one of my favorite levels in the hack. And that's no less difficult, it's still extremely difficult just for different reasons. I think Rapture in the Deep is one of the most well-made levels in like the entire hack. Do I have any other options? I mean, yeah, I have the trees are dead, but that's also not the easiest level, and I probably shouldn't play a level I like under a till. I could go try Minky Bridge, Lamau. Oh, wait, wait, I can make it better. I know what I could do. Oh, wait, load, load, damn it. I know what I could do. I could go play Minky Bridge. That one's free. That one didn't cost points. Did you ever mention making a hack entirely vanilla to start the game out on a Yoshi house 
ghost house icon, which is a shell of narrow water crab inside and an orb. Yeah, I'll just do- I'll just go do cryophobia again right now. No problem. This would unlock castle six. Yeah, you know what? I shouldn't. I know what I can do. Things I have absolutely no investment in actually finishing. Cryophobia, phobia. You're not wrong. I've already lost. Yep. I've, I would have lost there. Getting hit at any point you lose, because you need to drop those power-ups in very specific ways. I think I would have lost there. That's actually fine. I think you're meant to get hit there. And then you're meant to still have a fire flower. Oh, wait, no, yeah, you're meant to have a fire flower there. Yeah. Wait, I can... I can start select out of this level? I've not beaten it. What? Reuse level IDs. But I can't start select now. I've lost. Screen doesn't scroll up fast enough. And I've lost. I literally can't progress because I don't have enough fire flower. So I use multi midpoints and controlled which levels have dragon coins, place multiple levels in the same ID. Okay. The cape dude needs to live because I need a cape at the end of this segment, and that's the only source of cape. This level is very, very extreme. So, like, I would show it off. Um, this level doesn't have a movie about it, sadly, but, um... No, it eats your power-ups at the start of the level and replaces with mushrooms. There is absolutely no cheesing in this level. Unlike Pixel Perfect, which I absolutely cheesed. And when I say it's basically pixel perfect... That's progress. And I've lost. I literally can't show off because you need like a fire flower and there's a, there's a spot where you get like eaten. But, like, there's a spot at the end where you have to fly up to get to the pipe to the next spot. Um, and the first part of this level is the hardest by a long shot. The second- there's- there's like three- this is a level in three acts. The second, um, is actually, like, a lot of shell juggling, which is pretty cool. And then the third act is lol chaos fire or something. <laughs> Enable start select in all houses. I, yeah, I think you told me that last playthrough. I don't know. I kind of feel like giving this one a go. My hand is starting to hurt, but yeah. It is a full-on gourmet race grand prix. Yes, actually. I should 
jump off of that instead of climbing. That would save a few frames. Okay, that's that's one. Okay, and then you still have your flower technically, and I literally can't progress. Cool. We have to get up here and drop one into Yoshi. Yeah, I literally can't progress. There's nothing I can do. That was really fast for a pit death, okay. Can't progress. My thing with this level is, like, how demandingly perfect you have to be. You have to be really fast and also really precise, and like if you make a single mistake, you have lost forever. There's there's no let in this level at all. Hey Lily, how's it going? Hey, hello. Nope. It doesn't lead anywhere, but it's an exit and would like kind of quality of life my movement in the um in the star world worlds plus I never did before nope that is a loss Damn it. Various kinds of players said it's fun. Well, there's a reason I'm going back to it, so I'm not a Kaizo player by any stretch of the imagination, but like. Welcome in the middle of the night, can't quite sleep, then pop by and say hi. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Damn it, Oh, okay. Then I would have a fire flower with a backup mushroom here that I would drop there. And I actually have time for that. Then you would get hit. You need sub momentum. This level is 100% optional though. Like, you wanna see bad, I'll show you actual pixel perfect. I don't have the dragon coins to show the movie though. There are legit Kaiser levels in this game in the um, optional side of things. There's a reason me and my friends all called it Kaizo Boot Camp whenever we- when, or when it first came out. Who is this by? Cinderfire. Yeah, no wonder it's- <laughs> Black Home Sunday, nice. Safe travels. I don't know how you start this level. Oh, you don't spin jump off the thing at all, okay. Nope, I needed that shell because you, you need to do a shell jump here.
You need to get that shell back. You can skip this level with a Yoshi. That's why it's a blue shell. There's a reason I skipped this level with a Yoshi. Yes, I gave myself a safe state, because, like... Because, like, I have no intention of playing this level, barely. For the 125.69, I'm actually, like, skipping this level and uh, Shell Sticker. Because Shell Sticker is actually easier than this, though. Like, I might actually give Shell Sticker a shot. I don't know how to do shell jumps at all. Okay, cool. I hope I didn't need the shell. So by the way, yeah, you die at any point, yeah, it's back to the beginning. Yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, there are legit Kaizo levels in this hack. And this level's not necessarily BS. It is Kaizo-ish, um, I'm pretty sure. It's like, it's it's insanely difficult and precise. And it doesn't unlock anything. See, that's the thing. I am okay with levels like this existing. This level, Pixel Perfect even, they're fine. Pixel Perfect you can skip even with a Yoshi. My problem... I mean, I'm fine with Minky Bridge as hard as that level is, because it's optional. New Jersey, like, the normal exit that I'm stuck on here, unlocks the path to New Jersey. Like, and this, like, if you're gonna progress through the normal sequence of events, you're beating New Jersey. Granted, I didn't struggle with it this time around, but, like, it's such a level. No, why not? Raveg, the trees are dead. Nothing remarkable rule-wise. Da 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 da! I just stood there and took that. Oh, there's a thing there. Okay. It's like a sparky guy I didn't see. Where were you when tree was kill? Press F in respect of tree. Da 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 da. I'm not the only one that hears Africa in this, right? Da 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 da. That counted, okay, cool. I love that Minera thing so much. That's fine, I got the dragon coin, that's what matters. What are hitboxes? God, I don't know, but that worked out like in every single which way possible, both in and against my- both in my favor and against it. No, you can't unhear it, yeah. Can't unhear it either. I'm posting something in media in my Discord. Uh, first off, I'm gonna mute YouTube because this is copyrighted to hell and back, probably. I'm posting two things, actually. boxes merged into smashed casts. I read that as something else. 
Anyway, yeah, enjoy in media in my Discord. Da 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 da. I love the midair spin jump for that reason. Da 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 da. I can aim good. I should probably unscroll the screen there and make that easier. I'm just gonna start over. I don't want to lose my hit, like, on the first jump. That's stupid. Fine, you know what? Congratulations, I am doing the level without your precious fire flower. Good job, video game, you made me do it. Fantastic, are you proud of yourself? Thank you, video game, I feel enriched. There you go, you did it! May I play now? God. Video games sometimes just don't rest until they do their stupid crap, like, like you getting hit or them doing a stupid thing, and then all of a sudden everything becomes playable, and it's like... That was on me, so it's different. Ooh, I should not have made that. I'm glad your stomach hurts less. Good luck at Risk of Rain 2 stuff. Oh, there's one going up, okay. I did. I jumped, spin, and then all of a sudden, hi, yes, device care. This thing you're doing that's not what we want you to do is taking up too much stuff. Please close it so we can resume using our shovelware instead. Wall jump clip, yeah, that's the one. No. I moved from, uh, I moved to a new phone that I've technically had for six months, and I, despite having that phone for six months, connected to Wi-Fi the whole time, it's decided now that I'm actively using it, it needs to update and do all of its shovelware crap. Like, I'm midair spin bouncing specifically to avoid spin jumping and getting wall clipped. That's fine. That's whatever. I jumped at a really bad time. That's fine. I'm bad. I almost double- I'm surprised I didn't get double sprite glitch there. Yeah, 
I get these things to lose in there, Koopa. Oh, you can do that from a duck jump? I never thought to science that before. That's actually groundbreaking. Speaking of groundbreaking, I'm about to. Oh yeah, it does. L and R buttons can be very helpful. This next part has some big gaps, so know what lies ahead before jumping blindly. I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I think... Hmm. I know the game wouldn't do that, uh, Dragon Queen, where you have to die and go to the mid area or whatever, but I'm gonna hit it anyway. Probably because I also owe this game a few deaths. House of the Holy kind of bought them all back, though. Well, that's all the Dragon Points. Sweet. waited i i was about to jump that that's that looks like because you probably heard the button press that i that it was an input actually no i was late i like i could feel it yeah exactly yeah i should have stopped but like actually this is detilting so like i'm okay there are lies beneath. But it didn't answer what. It just said a fact that it didn't technically answer. It's a mistake. Yeah, you literally just lose if you don't make that. Yeah, the lies killed you. Backup mag blue portal bazaar gave visions and strides of heresy. Oh, nice. What difficulty? If I converted that to a spin jump, I think I might have been fine. Rainstorm? Okay. I think you shoot fire, because why wouldn't you? There you go. I hate that I have to wait at the start for a cycle. Please don't put things in levels on a cycle that you make your player wait for a cycle before they can do things. Like, actually, please don't do that. There's nothing more god-awful annoying than having to wait a cycle for a thing.
If I have to wait at the start of a level, then each retry feels that much worse. That's just me being dumb and impatient. Yeah, it gives it a sense of timing, but when I have to, when I'm forced to sit here like, okay, I am starting this level. Time to wait. Like, three or four seconds before being able to actually play the level. On repeat failure states, it is just a source of frustration. Like, yes, I see the thing. It is timing. I understand timing because I say I do. I think I could paint that with, like, proper speed. I'm tanking the hit there because it's much better than waiting the cycle. I know about timed hits. Like, it's a problem in Cryophobia, it was a problem in New Jersey, it's a problem in House of the Holy. Like, I just don't like difficult levels where I can't start the level until it's done a thing for like four or five seconds. Like, don't make me wait, like, that absurd amount of time every attempt. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. About 13 seconds between death and being able to actually play, kind of thing. Honestly, tanking the hit, hit, hit there just like does absolutely nothing detrimental to me at all. And being impatient there cost me a hit too, but like... And being impatient literally killed me, but yeah. that's just, That was just me bad timing, but like... I hate waiting between attempts on a difficult level. Let me get back into the action. Don't make me wait. It's not difficulty. That's that's literally not difficulty. It's fake difficulty. Oh, I can do that if I want to preserve my hit that bad. Okay. Oh, but having that hit here kind of unfortunate. I can just skip that. Okay, cool. I know you do, Carissa, and I very much appreciate that you do. That was one of the first things I noticed about the hack. Although, now that I've, like, played this, granted I'm using speed up and, like, out of level tools, which I will not be using at all when I, um, play AUT again. Um, I will say I'm definitely better at Mario than I was. Momentum! Losing to the platforming, so my hits don't matter right now. tense for lately. Yeah. No, you, you absolutely need to be in the, a good headspace for that. I should have gotten hit. Ooh, okay. I thought there was more to the level than that. Okay. I remember this one not being that bad past the midpoint. Shell Shrine I am not doing today. Period. End of story. It's been two hours. I'm not doing Shell Shrine right now. Okay, so... <laughs> this is a terraformer lol Yoshi and world peace. No power-ups of any kind, no Yoshi because it's a castle, and a save point because it's a castle. I like this level a lot. It is very difficult, 
but I do like the level a lot. There are things I wish I could go back and change about Jump 1. Specifically around this part of the game. The rest of the stage Hellblades was um, a lot of screen scrolling to the right to get some fireballs to spawn off screen. And they kind of weave in between foreground and background trees so you kind of know where they are but also kind of don't. But at the same time it's not actually that difficult. <laughs> 